A lot of families are on spring break right now or over the next couple of weeks. And if you're heading out of town or if you're not heading out of town, rather, you don't worry because yeah. there is plenty to do here at home. Yeah, Lisa Lockhart from the Rock Island Public Library is here with us. Lisa, welcome back. Thanks for having us on again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, you always have great stuff to say. And uh, today we're talking about some really great events and activities that are going to be happening over the next couple of weeks, um, starting with Monday. Monday, we have a Quad City Arts visiting artist oh, showing up at our, awesome. our Watts Midtown branch. And they're bringing the music of uh, France and Ireland to our oh, stage. Oh, there you go. How timely. Yes, right? So <laughs> March 18th at 1 o'clock. French and Irish music. Now, I was reading about this. It's called Gross Isle, mm -hmm. right, which means... Grand Island, Grand or Big Island, Island or, or Big like Island. That. Okay. Yeah. So um, one thing I thought was cool was that the French actually comes from Quebec. Oh, Canada. there you go. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> right. so, it's your people. Yeah, it's my people. So I have to check it <laughs> you out. Guys say, go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you guys also have um, a lot of events for school ages during the break. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, for these kiddos that are looking for something to do, um, talk about some of those options. Yeah. All next week we have a flex foam cupcake craft mm. going on, oh. and you know, flex foam it's is right you here. mix the two chemicals and you get this expanding like polymer. Oh, feel it. Yeah. Feel it. Like yeah. Show it's it squishy. On. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's really neat. Yeah. This is fun. So <laughs> the kids will be painting and decorating those, and we have three times and three locations for that, so okay. you'll just want to check our calendar. But okay. that's a school-age craft. And then for the slightly older, mm -hmm. uh, we have a 3D printing program for teens. Really? And so we have these 3D printing pens. And this right here. Yes, right there. Okay. And it comes with the monofilament. And the kids have uh, drop-in opportunities on the 19th and the 21st from 4 to 6 o'clock at two different locations. And they can just experiment with pens, try them out, make something creative. And we actually check those out through our library of things. Oh, so once they figure out, you know, they I have, have no idea. I wouldn't have the slightest clue how to use that. I wouldn't either. I've seen the 3D printers, and what they come yeah, up with amazing. is really cool. But it, yeah, I'd be interested to see how this actually works. Yeah, so that's a more accessible version yeah. of that that anybody can try out. Okay. So obviously, you've got something for kids of all ages, including the younger yeah. ones. Uh, you've probably noticed we've got uh, Bluey as a theme here. Ever since I was reading about this earlier, I've got the theme song stuck in my head. Parents of toddlers, yes, you know. We've been having a lot of fun with all the coming up with the activities. But yes, Bluey. Yeah. Bluey on Saturday from 10.30 to 12.30. Okay. And that's next Saturday, that's right? That's next Saturday okay. the 23rd. And we have crafts. We have dancing, you know, great for the toddler and preschool set. Uh, and parents, too, yeah. right? Um, and they'll be playing a lot of the games that they recognize from the show. Yeah. Um, and it's just a great fun time. You and brought then, the craft with you? Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, cute. Oh, a lot of the little. Little people. bluey. And a oh, bluey That's mask, cute. and also there is one for Bluey's sister. I love that. Um, and so kids can do that, and also um, kids who attend will can pick out a free Bluey book oh. while supplies wow. last. Good incentive there for the kids. Yeah. definitely. And we so we need to mention too these programs. These are always free for yeah. people, right? They are. Yeah, it's part of uh, education and enrichment, and you know, involving our community. Very cool. So what else can families do uh, with a library card when they come to the library? Well, I brought some games and puzzles with me today. You can today. check these out? You can check these out. Um, and the availability limits is limited by what type of card you have. But oh, for sure. Illinois card holders, they're open. Mm -hmm. um, and for Davenport card holders, I think it's one game or one cool. puzzle. Check with your library. But I would say also check with your library to see what they have. Yeah. This is something that I think is super cool. You I've can not check heard out, of this. You can, you can get see, uh, free seeds. You can get free seeds from this your is library. really cute. It just opened Monday, and I think we're breaking the internet because we oh. have so many people sharing Really? It. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. A unique, I love that. it's a unique opportunity. I, I've never heard of a seed library before. Well, you know, it kind of goes along with exploration and, mm -hmm. and trying out new things and using your library to do that. Yeah. Um, they can pick out five free seeds per that month per family. Fun. And then we also have this fun thing at our branches where we have themed seed gardens okay. um, and I have an example of one of those out here it's a butterfly garden okay and so that butterfly garden comes with five different seeds milkweed oh, black-eyed mm -hmm. Susan 
and they can try a new type of garden. That's super, super and so fun. And so kind of experiment with that during their spring break and plan what they're going to plant. Yeah. And before we run out of time with you, Lisa, um, never too early to start planning for summer. So while we're really focused right now on spring, uh, we know how quickly as parents, those camps, those <laughs> yes. clubs, those things fill up fast, like starting now. So mm. people can start registering for some clubs and things like that at the library. We have a summer art uh, program and a summer math program, and those are both five or six weeks long, and they meet once a week, and they are limited, so you do yeah. need to sign up early if you're interested yeah. in that, and that information is all out on our website. Okay, and we've got the website on the screen right now. Perfect. Uh, the yes. best way to find out what's happening is by checking the calendar on the website. So many different activities going on. That's rockislandlibrary.org. You can also give them a call at 309-732-READ. Lisa, thank you so much, as always. Thank we you. We appreciate you coming thank here you, today.